Hello and welcome to the first of two webinars provided by Metaphorix covering Dynamics Nav's integration with Office 365. My name is Rob and I am one of the consultants here at Metaphorix. In terms of the agenda for today's webinar, um, I will look to provide an overview of the available functionality in terms of interacting with Nav alongside Office, uh, while also aiming to demonstrate the functionality using NAV 2017's web client and also Outlook 2013's web client or OWA as it's sometimes referred to, uh, including interacting with emails and also Outlook's calendar. The functionality was introduced with the aim of bringing Microsoft Dynamics NAV and Office solutions together. Um, the functionality enables users to interact with NAV via Office applications such as Outlook and Excel um, in this webinar, we will concentrate on NAV's interaction with Outlook. However, interaction with Excel is covered in the second of the two webinars, which is to follow in the near future. In terms of who the add-in is aimed at, it's useful for those who are, say, either uh, who re either rarely connect to the standard NAV client or who are frequently on the road. For example, if you have salespeople, uh, it might be useful for them if they're on the road quite a bit. Um, the Outlook integration key features. Um, the Outlook related functionality is provided by an add-in which can be installed during the Navision installation process. However, it's worth noting that once installed, certain additional pieces of technical setup are required to enable both Outlook and Nav to communicate with each other. Um, the user interacts with Nav data and documents from within the Outlook window via one of two uh, or three main icon or links um, which are accessible via either the Outlook ribbon or via the reading pane containing the email's body that you have received from a recipient or a sender. Outlook integration uh, in terms of email. Once the email has been received and the user wishes to interact with the sender via nav, they can do so um, using opening the add-ins uh, dynamics nav contact insights pane within Outlook. Um, if the sender does not exist as a contact within the Navision environment, uh, the add-in provides the user with an option to do just that within Outlook, and the record will be visible once created within the standard Navision client. Once the sender exists and having interacted with them further, the users can view key st statistics, apologies I can't say that word very well, relating to their interaction with the organisation or the contact concern, concerned via a sort of dashboard. Um, if in the initial or, or further interaction with the contact they wished for example for us to provide them with a quote for items they'd like to purchase from us uh, as an organisation, users can create such a doc document from within Outlook as they would within the vision. Similar to contact records, once the quote document for example has been created, it will be visible within a standard NAV client, be that the web client, for example. And once the quote is ready to be sent to the contact, it can be emailed to the contact again within Outlook. In the same example, if the contact wish to proceed with ordering the items based on the quote, and they reference the quote's number within the body of the email, the add-in has the ability to pick up this reference and display the related NAV document within Outlook itself to enable users to proceed as required. Um, in the following screenshots, I have uh, some examples um, of um, how to use um, this particular functionality. Um, I won't spend too long on because I was going to show you the functionality in a demo, but just to give you a brief idea of the functionality in itself. So in terms of um, the demo, um, if I come out of my slides and I bring up my Navision client, or Outlook client in this case, you'll see here that I've received, um, uh, or me as an organisation has received um, a quote request um, from a prospective customer, straight contact, um, and in this email, uh, they have requested that my organisation 
uh, quote for these particular items that they would like to order from us. Um, and if I open the Dynamics Nav Contact Insights window by clicking on this icon here, clicking on the option of Contact Insights, this will then open a pane here, and it's trying to communicate with Nav now. Um, and having done that bit of communication, it's come back to me and told me that um, the sender of this email is not among my contacts, and would I like to create them as a contact? Uh, and yes, I can do this um, by clicking on the add uh, the name of the recipient or sender, sorry, as a contact. And it brings up this window here. Um, it fills out the information it can from the email that's been received. So it's filled out the person's name. You can obviously change this if you so wish. Um, the email address of the sender and by default, it's marked them as a person. So in the vision, a contact can be either a person or a company. And in this case, they're a person. And so they can actually also be assigned as a person belonging to a company contact, um, which I can do by clicking on the link here. And although the screen isn't great, apologies for that. I can scroll through and, or even if I wish to, I can search for. So in this case, if I search for metaphorics, I click in here, I can now associate that contact that I'm about to create with a company. When I'm happy with that, I can click OK. And it's created the contact, and as you can see, it's brought up the dashboard that I mentioned in the slides earlier for um, the metaphorics company because I have associated that person contact with the company contact of metaphorics. Now, if I was to return or to go to my uh, division client, apologies, I need to log back in. Um, and I search for my contacts. Uh, using the search feature. And I search for Rob Swift. You'll see that the contacts I have just created uh, appears as a contact record in the Navision client as well. And because, uh, as with um, any person contact linked to a company con uh, contact, it's defaulted the relevant address and contact information from um, the company contact bar, of course, the email address. And uh, if I return back to my Web client. Um, say, for example, that customer or now contact, sorry, um, sent his a quote request as he has done. We can then, now we've created that, that person as a contact, we can actually raise the quote as he's requested us to do so. All we need to do is click on the Dynamics Nav icon here, select the option of new, and then select the sub option of sales quote. And again, within the Dynamics Nav Contact Insights pane, it's created um, the structure of a quote, sales quote, for that person. And you can see the customer is defaulted to metaphorics, and the contact is uh, Rob Swift. And I can continue filling out the relevant details. I can either do that within here, or I can expand the window as uh, like so. And this is similar to if I was opening up within the Navision web client itself. So I can come on here, I'm just going to reference these details. Oops, apologies, I get the best uh, angle for the screen. So if I choose item, and it is 80005, it's very kindly um, giving me the uh, details of the item numbers, which helps out quite a lot. And 80005. 103-T is the second item, and again, picks up that item, and in the case of the quantities, he wishes to purchase 10 of each. So I'm just going to quickly complete that, make sure everything's okay, or fairly okay. Um, and then once I'm happy with that, I can then send that as an email. If I click send by email, 
you'll see here that it opens in this window. Now, obviously, if I was in the less well, the unexpanded window, it would appear in my Windows client, in my Outlook client even. Um, and if I put the contacts, contact details in here, and I click OK. There it goes, so it should have gone back to the customer contact. Now, say for example, I know this is a different quote, but say for example, um, they uh, returned uh, to yourself or replied to yourself saying that they wish for you to proceed. Um, but in the case of this particular email, they've actually been kind enough to uh, state the reference number for the quote or the quote number within the body of the email. Now, given this, um, Outlook has the capability to actually be able to retrieve the relevant document, or quote in this case, uh, from this number. And to do so, uh, what it, all you have to do is click on this document links icon here, or link, and Outlook will contact or communicate with Navision. And you can see here that it's pulled back this particular quote. Uh, again, you can uh, expand it or pop it out into a full window, or you can manipulate it within here as you see fit. Um, and yeah, that's about that, for the, for that piece of functionality. Um, so if I come back to my slides, um, the next uh, area I would like to cover or take you through is the integration with Outlook's calendar. So um, this, this particular piece of functionality is aimed predominantly at organisations in the service or project sector. However, organisations in other sectors may find certain aspects of some use too. Um, key features include the raising of NAV documents within Outlook that require, produ require producing on the back of, say, a calendar appointment a user might have been part of or attended. For example, a salesperson might have gone to see a prospective customer uh, the day or so ago and that particular customer during that meeting has requested that we raise a quote for some items they wish to purchase. Uh, additionally, um, users can also plan uh, the diary of a project's resource or a job if you use Navision's job module. Um, and this, but this functionality, because it's quite detailed, is covered off here during the second of the two webinars ahead of the Excel integration coverage. So, um, the raising of appointments related to uh, related division documents. Uh, there's a few screenshots here, but I thought it'd probably be better to show you demo it straight off. But I'll just slowly go through these as slowly as possible. Um, so you can see here that uh, from this particular um, calendar event, um, the user is trying to raise an invoice in this case uh, on the back of that particular uh, appointment. And then this third screenshot here is just showing uh, the ability to um, complete that invoice or document from within the Outlook client itself. So I'll just quickly show that to you. So if I come out of uh, my slides and I um, go to my calendar down here, you'll see that um, on the 25th of January this year, um, I went for a meeting with a customer um, regarding a possible sales opportunity. And luckily for me, after that meeting, um, the customer decided they wished for us to quote them for an order and if I open the uh, calendar appointment by double clicking on it I can view the calendar and I can open the Dynamics Nav Insights uh, pane by clicking on the Dynamics Nav icon up here clicking on contact insights option clicking on the contact insights option it will then uh, bring me a list of my contacts and I can also search for it. So say for example, my contact Rob 
came back to me after a meeting with him and said he wanted me to raise him a quote for some items. I can do so by clicking on the add icon from his uh, dashboard, clicking on quote, and completing the relevant details as I saw fit. Um, and that's that piece of functionality. Thank you very much.